Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on simulating Hagen-Boseau flow in OpenFOAM. In this tutorial, we will see to create and mesh 3D cylindrical pipe to simulate the Hagen-Boseau flow having fixed pressure ratio across boundaries and to visualize the velocity contour in ParaView. To record this tutorial, I am using Linux operating system Ubuntu 12.04 OpenFOAM version 2.1.1 and Paraview version 3.12.0. To practice this tutorial, learner should have the knowledge of basic fluid dynamic and Hagen-Boseau flow. Here is Hagen-Boseau flow diagram. We can see the dimensions and boundaries of the pipe. Viscosity of the fluid used, that is water, is given. Pressure at the inlet is 20 pascals and at the outlet it is 0 pascal. As it is an incompressible flow, only the pressure difference is of importance. Formulas and analytical solution. For Hagen-Boseau flow, pressure drop along the pipe is P1 minus P2 equals 32 mu U average L upon D square. By substituting the values from the previous diagram, we get U average equals to 0.208 meter per second. Maximum velocity is given as 2 times the average velocity which would be 0.416 meter per second. Reynolds number for the flow is U average into D upon nu that comes out to be 2080. Hence, the flow is transient. Type of solver used here is icofoam. It is a transient solver. It is used for incompressible laminar flow of Newtonian fluid. Pressure boundary conditions used. At inlet, fixed pressure. At outlet, fixed pressure. At walls, zero gradient. Velocity boundary conditions used. At inlet, pressure inlet velocity. At outlet, zero gradient. At walls, fixed value. For executing this case, first, let's create the case directory in the icofoam folder and give it some name. I have named it as 3D pipe. To know the location of this folder, go through the tutorial on lid-driven cavity. Copy the zero, constant and system folders of lid-driven cavity problem in the newly created folder. Let's go inside the 3 d pipe folder. I have already copied the folders into my 3 d pipe folder and modified the files in it. Now let's go into the 0 folder and open the P file. This is the pressure boundary condition file. Note that the dimensions are in meter square per second square. Hence the pressure value in pascals is divided by the density that is 1000 kg per meter cube and written here. Let's close the file. File containing the velocity boundary conditions is as seen. Let's open the file. We can see the velocity boundary conditions for inlet, outlet and fixed walls. Let's close the file. Let's come out of the zero folder. To see the blocking strategy, let me switch back to the slides. To create a 3D geometry of a pipe, I have made a 2D circular geometry and extruded the length in Z direction. Numbering pattern is as shown. We can also see the dimensions of the mesh. To see the block mesh tick file, let's minimize the slides. Let's go into the folder constant and then poly mesh. Let's open the block mesh dict file. We can see vertices, blocks, edges and boundaries for inlet, outlet and fixed walls. Let's close the file. Let's come out of the polymesh folder. We see the transport properties file. Let's open the file. Note the dynamic viscosity value here is 1 into 10 raised to minus 6. Let's close the file and come out of the folder constant. Let's go into the system folder. 
Now let's have a look at the control dip file. The solution converges after 18 seconds. Therefore, the final time step is kept 19. The time step has been set to 1 into 10 raised to minus 3. Let's close the file. Let's close the home folder. Now to execute the case, we will first go inside the 3 pipe folder through terminal. Let's open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T key all together. Type run and press enter. Type cd space tutorials and press enter. Type cd space incompressible and press enter. Type cd space icofoam and press enter. Type cd space 3D pipe and press enter. Now to create the mesh, type block mesh and press enter. Meshing has been done. To start the iterations, type icofoam and press enter. We see the iterations are running. Iterations has been done. After the iterations end, type paraform for post-processing the results and press enter. It will open paraview. This is paraview. Let's click on apply on the left hand side of the object inspector menu to see the geometry. Let's rotate the geometry for a better view. Click on the active variable control menu and select U in the drop down menu. At the top, in VCR toolbar, click on play button. Go to object inspector menu. Go to display. And click on rescale to data range. To view the half section, go to the toolbar named common. Click on clips. Go to object inspector menu, properties and press apply. Let's zoom in. Let's open the color legend. We can see the maximum velocity is near to the actual maximum velocity that is 0.40 meter per second. To view the graph, go to filters at the top, data analysis and press plot over line. Press y axis and press apply. We can see the parabolic profile for hagen puza flow. Let's close the graph. Let's close Paraview and switch to the slides. In this tutorial, we have learned to create and mesh a 3D pipe geometry to simulate hagen puza flow for a fixed pressure ratio across boundaries and to visualize the velocity results in Paraform. As an assignment, change the geometry parameters such as length and diameter, change the corresponding pressure ratio and use the fluid of different viscosity. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict hyphen intro